Digital SAT Math Flashcards, Standard Form of a Line. Standard form of a line is AX plus BY equals C. The slope is negative capital A over capital B. And don't forget slope intercept form, which we covered in previous shorts. The easiest way to find the slope of a standard form line equation is probably to use algebra to put it in slope intercept form. To do that, we're going to try to get y by itself. Well, the first thing we do is move the x term, the 5x. To move him to the other side, we'll subtract 5x from both sides, being very careful to write it as 4y equals negative 5x plus 8. You want that x term in front, not 8 minus 5x. Now we just need to move the 4. So what we'll do is we'll divide every term in the equation, both sides, by 4. And we're left with y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 2. We can now hold it up next to slope intercept form. And we see that the slope is negative 5 fourths. And the y intercept is 2. For this example, we'll instead try using the standard form slope equation. So we'll first identify a, b, and c. Then we'll use m equals negative capital A over capital B. We get negative 6 over negative 18, which simplifies to a slope of 1 third. We could then find the y-intercept by graphing or plugging in x equals 0. Graphing can sometimes give you trouble if you get a messy fraction, so let's try plugging in x equals 0. Once again, to find the y-intercept, we'll set x equal to 0. 6 times 0 is 0. We can then divide both sides by negative 18 to see that y is equal to 7 18ths, which means the y-intercept is 0, 7 18ths. So you may be thinking, that really didn't save us that much time. Kyle, why are you going over this? And I used to agree with you until I saw the very last question on SAT practice test number 9, which has seven different line equations in it, and you had to find the slope of seven standard form line equations over and over and over again. So the little time save that this generates, if you can just remember this one tiny formula, can really add up on certain super niche questions. Don't forget, the slope is equal to negative capital A over capital B. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSET math concept.